first impressions of um, flying the Phantom II for the very first time. Um, I've got a background in radio controlled, so I've got a massive advantage, I would say, over most people. But, however, um, it is with GPS mode um, enabled uh, a very easy um, plane, uh, quad helicopter, quad let's call it, to fly. Um, it's, uh, it's very forgiving and it's got auto stabilization and everything that that you need as a as a newcomer to to get you in the air, but I would definitely stress that you need to stay within um, your battery time because when it it starts to go into the red, um, you need to be close enough back home to do that. And I've got mine pretty much set up by me for first person view from Marionville Models and. Um, First person view means I've I've got a video coming through um, a, a Nimrod aerial through my GoPro and my Zenmuse gimbal, etc. All of that coming down in, into my screen. Um, that sucks power as well, and you get about I don't know to 20 minutes supposedly from it. And I think um, it would be handy to get some sort of a uh, more of a warning I think is what I would like to have seen it just seemed to on my second flight I was not not really far away but um, it's just that when you start to get a little bit more confidence with things and and I expected it to um, have the home lock stuff on it so that I could just start to get it home but um, when you do run out of battery with them apparently it does kind of descend pretty quickly and, and hits the ground harder than what you would do with a normal landing so I don't know what's the best advice for somebody starting out with like that just be very conservative and always come back with plenty of power left I would say um, it, it was surprising um, that the response really started to, to go or maybe it didn't because when it, when it first started flashing red which is the the, si the, the signal that you know your the first signal you get is the flashing red the next thing that happens is it starts to auto land where it is if you're over water that's a problem for you as well um, well even even that like if you're if you're flying in the park you you know you need to be away from people and away from other things which in a park is you know you need to make sure you fly these things responsibly and, and that means not over people's houses, houses etc, cars. Imagine um, making a mess of somebody's car. But um, if you are doing it right, you've found somewhere with plenty of space flying conservatively. It's pretty easy and I would you know, certainly have a go yourself um, and, and just uh, yeah, just it, it stabilizes itself, you know, it's it's pretty easy to land, I think. I think you will um, you will break a few props and things, but uh, it's, it seems like a pretty sturdy thing. I mean, my landing was was quite rough that second one when when it lost power, and um, I said it seemed unresponsive, and yet it seemed to sort of fly back to me. Um, okay, the part that seemed unresponsive, I think, was when I was just trying to lose height, and it's hard to see that it's doing that quickly or quickly enough. I think. I was higher than I thought I was and so when it started to, to come down it felt like it wasn't doing anything at which point I thought ah, I've lost radio control and I was a little bit worried then because it seems that um, it wasn't shipped with sort of home lock enabled with home lock enabled the big advantage is you can flick down the right hand top corner switch to um, or is it the left, no it's the left switch I believe into home lock position and then pulling back on the controller brings the, the the phantom back to you or at least to within the shorter internal radius that is um, the course lock one I believe um, but it gets you close enough where you can do more of a controlled descent and that's pretty much what I would want enabling and my point and the thing that I'm gonna try and get some info on is why is this 
not enabled for beginners from the outset. Like, um, because if you try and enable this, it's like an advanced feature. So that doesn't really make sense to me. Advanced pilots wouldn't necessarily need it, could use it, find it useful. Um, just orientation utility. Um, but beginner pilots really could use it. Um, though the LEDs, I have to say, are, are brilliant and make it lights it up in the sky, and um, you're going to get a lot of attention flying this thing, so you have to be wary of that and comfortable with that. And try and, if you're lucky, you can get out into some open space, but um, in the UK, that's getting a bit sparse these days, depending on where you live. Um, not going to run on ramble on so much, but I've found the the first two flights very enjoyable. Um, that second one, I had a really um, interesting moment at the end, and uh, and that's more experience points for me. And um, yeah, um, it does seem to produce some good videos. You can see here. This is the second flight, and. Um, and I'm very, very happy with things so far and looking forward to getting some of those features um, disabled and starting to, to sort of see what push this thing, see what it can do. Um, and that, that will make this much more exciting um, thing to fly. Um, I guess I'll take the gimbal off for that. I'm not sure. We'll see, see how it handles it. Um, I don't know, the gimbal, feel, it's, not, it's not that it feels um, fragile. It's, it's a well-made piece of kit, it has to be, but um, I think it needs needs to be respected and um, it seems to sort of thrash about a little bit if it hasn't got the camera in there. I think it needs, it, it expects the camera to be in place like when you turn it on etc. Things like that, that I'm all getting to grips and learning about. So, Alright, well, hopefully you found this um, video quite interesting. It's the start of my adventures with quadcopters and stuff and uh, carrying on with um, putting videos up on YouTube and talking about something at random that you may be interested in too so uh, yeah all right thanks for listening and watching and um, hopefully you would feel that you could subscribe would appreciate that or share a link on your Facebook um, but uh, yeah have a good one and safe happy flight with yours